five reasons why DJ Pro is the best DJ app. One would be the awesome integration with streaming services. DJ Pro was the first DJ app to offer DJing with streaming services. And when it first came out, people went nuts and they, they thought it wasn't real DJing and some people loved it some people didn't some people thought it was a fad and it, it wasn't gonna be something that's popular in the future but those people were wrong and streaming service is now normal for basically all of the leading DJ softwares so DJ Pro has made it so simple and so easy to just download the app and then DJ with millions and millions of songs and have access to effects and sound effects and a lot of stuff you could do with these various streaming services. So if you go over here, you click on the menu, you bring down the menu, and then here is the list of all of the streaming services that are currently offered. So there is Tidal. This is the one that I use. I used to use Spotify and that was the best one, but Unfortunately, Spotify has removed their access to DJ with their service. So no streaming services have, no DJ apps have the ability to DJ with Spotify and they probably will, will never. So there are some good alternatives and Tidal is the most like Spotify. It's not, doesn't have as much pre-made playlists, but it, the, pretty much any song you search for will be there. If you want to use Spotify to DJ, you could use the app to find, discover new songs by using some of their great playlists, or you could connect it through uh, on a different deck. Like if you're using a mixer when you're DJing with a controller, you could put it into an auxiliary channel and then have a song ready and then play that and then mix out of it on your DJ software. They also offer SoundCloud, which is great for underground um, artists that aren't that popular yet and that aren't going to be on Tidal. They're on SoundCloud, like new rappers and a lot of up-and-coming artists. So as a DJ, you always want to be able to play the most up-and-coming songs. And then there's Beatport and BeatSource. I haven't used these ones. They do have a lot of songs, and they also have more like it's more geared towards EDM. All right, the next great feature that DJ Pro offers is Neuromix. What this does, let's say you got a great song from one of those streaming services or you had your own song. Once this song is loaded up, you can separate the vocals from the instrumentals. You could remove the harmonics and you could essentially make your own acapellas and make your own instrumentals. And then you can mix them together because uh, um, a good technique when you're DJing is when you play two songs at the same time, you could start one song with no bass and then you could gradually turn up the bass or take out the highs if you wanted to get rid of the vocals or take out the mids. Now, instead of trying to do it with the EQs, which isn't always accurate, you can do it right here. So on the top, if you press it, that gets rid of the drums. that gets rid of the drums. This is for the harmonics. You could either press the button to turn it on or off, and then you can remove it. And as you see, when you remove something, you it changes the waveforms. So that's what the waveforms looks like with no vocals, and that's what it looks like with vocals, and that's what it looks like with only vocals. So it's a great tool if you want to find out if a song is going to have vocals or where the vocals are. And it's really amazing how they did that. Other DJ softwares are starting to offer it, but DJ Pro w was one of the first, and they've done it very well. style of DJing is what DJing is going to be like in the future, and I think it's going to continue to grow in popu popularity. Uh, new controllers have started to implement them onto the hardware, so this controller has built-in controls for Neuromix. You could take the highs out, or you could use it to take the vocals out if you use one of the, the shift buttons and then you press it and you could take you can make your own acapella right here right from the controller Nero Mix turns 
the app from a DJ app into a DJ, like a full production studio, and you could create very unique mixes, mashups, and even you could use acapellas that you make, and you can make your own songs using the looper. The feature of DJ Pro would have to be the looper. This thing is insane. You could really let your creativity run wild. You can make your own beats, and then if you have vocals, you can make your own songs with it. At the touch of a button, it goes right on. And it's also in sync to the song that you're playing and the beat that you're playing. And then you could throw in. This is at first, when I first started using this feature, it was a little confusing and I wasn't sure what what the, what they sounded like and how to use it very well. But after hours and hours of playing around with it, it's really fun to use and it's actually very easy once you get used to it. So if you are someone that loves creating their own stuff and you're using this app, definitely don't forget to incorporate the looper into your next set. Next thing I love about DJ Pro is that they make it so fun and easy to scratch and to learn how to scratch. I always wanted to become a DJ because I thought it was so cool when DJs would scratch on the record. And now that I could do it with DJ Pro is just amazing. They really have made the perfect, perfect version of a virtual record deck that has the very realistic feel and also um, behaves the same way as a normal record player and they threw in some hidden features that make it easy to scratch which is if you use both fingers it'll move the crossfader back and forth creating a really cool scratch noise and then also if you have the crossfader all the way to the left and then you hold the screen in the middle and then let go it cuts the crossfader really fast so you could do it that way and then that's how you could do the trip scratch and then you could do all different combinations with scratching when i first started there's a training video if you go into the settings over here and then you go over here to dj school it brings you on to the dj school where there's like 10 or 12 videos that'll teach you everything from the baby scratch to more advanced scratches. And I definitely suggest watching those. I also made a lot of my own videos on how to scratch. And it takes a while. It's not something that you could just start doing right away. You do have to practice and learn how, how the sounds are made and what techniques to use. But I definitely suggest taking the time to learn how to scratch. Even if you don't do it that much in your DJ sets, it's a good skill to have and it's really fun to do. And this is the best app to learn, even if you're even if all you have is your phone, and you want to learn how to scratch. That's how I started. I started DJing with my phone, and I would be there scratching, and it was fun. It was like playing a game. And then I got the iPad, and then I got various controllers and stuff like that. So if you guys think you want to be interested in the scratching, and all you got is your phone, download the app, scratch, see if it's fun, and then if you want to get an iPad or a different controller. That's up to you. I really have so many more things that I think are great with, with this app. So I'm going to make a part two and part three. Let me know in the comments if there was anything I left out that you think I should add in, add in the next one. Thank you.